All right, so here is my $1,500 package from Zilla Boo. Oh my God, it's heavy. <laughs> so the girl spent way too much money. I do want to thank Shopify for sponsoring this video. So let's open it up. I've been hearing about the Korean jails for a very long time, but I must admit that I was influenced by Emily. Especially with this set right here, she had recently reviewed this and I was like, oh my God, too cute. Oh, my milk sponge is, is crushed. Oh, that sucks. I'm just gonna take everything out and then let y'all know what I got. I must say I am very pleased at how well everything is packaged. This is wrapped up like luxury items. I mean, I guess for this price, it is luxury. Oh, that box is so cute. I got a lot to, <laughs> lot to do here. Okay, isn't this box so cute? It's like Korean Lucky Charms and uh, very, very cute. These colors just looked really cute when I saw them swatched and I was like, I gotta have them. So let's open this up. This box is really cute. I normally don't keep boxes, but we might keep them. Oh, and then it comes with this card here where you can uh, put swatches to display the colors. I think I'm gonna do that. These colors look so yummy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and open these. Oh, okay, see, I'm just in a whole new world now because the only other like South Korean gel that I've tried was the Jello Jello and I was impressed with this bottle, but these bottles have like a soft touch feel to them and a little star on top. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's get these out of here. I just can't. We think it's so cute. I'm gonna just actually wait. I'm gonna keep these in the in the thing until I do my swatches. But these are these colors. I hope that they are just as vibrant um, in real life as the bottles are because these are really cute. Next, I got these floral syrup. Is that what they're called? Um, Elang, Elang, I guess. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names. I just don't know. Oh, okay, is this the same tiny brand? Oh, okay. So yeah, I got these because they're like deeper colors. I guess I stuck with the same brand, huh? But that burgundy is really cute. I'm just gonna take all of these out so y'all can see. But yeah, these are like, um, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say muted, but they're colors that I do not have in my collection. And I wanted to get something that I don't have. I got like chocolate browns and burgundies. And so yeah, that is this set. And I'm gonna do swatches of all of these, so don't worry. But yeah, like I don't have any colors like this. I normally stick to like brights and pinks and stuff. You know, I love pink. But yeah, I got this set here. All right, so I was just looking at my order and yeah, these were expensive. <laughs> um, this set here was $1.99. And then this neon struck ice cream set was $210. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, so next I got, I mean, it looked really cute, but <laughs> It got squished. Let's see if I can pop this back out. All right, but these are little sponges to do ombres with the polish. Um, and then this, I have to look to see how to construct all of this. But this is the easy picker. Ooh, and it's like this little that is so cool. But yeah, it's this little catcher thing to hold the sponge so I don't have to touch it. And the, this is very hefty. But yeah, I'm kind of sad that my my little, okay. I mean, if you, 
If you pop it back out, it's not bad. I guess I ordered too much stuff that it got squished in transit, but isn't this cute? And this was the big dog, okay? Myth Milo, okay? They took all of my money, like all of it. <laughs> okay, you know, making it pretty packaged and everything makes me feel better about the amount that I spent. And I'm sure y'all curious to know, so I'm about to show y'all. All right, so this set here was $900. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. It was really expensive, but I really wanted to try it and uh, here we are. And so the sponges were 13 and that picker was $9. I must say this is probably the most that I've ever spent on nail products. <laughs> Ooh. But when I was on Zillaboo's website, I saw these and y'all remember when I was telling you a story about how I wanted to try some gels from South Korea and I reached out to them and they gave me a quote of $800. This is that set, like it's crazy. It's like a full circle moment. <laughs> yes, these are the cake gels. Uh, <laughs> they're all so pretty. Okay, of course I'm gonna go for the pink one. Try to get this out without Okay, I'm gonna need some help. I need something to slide into the side of this. Okay. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it comes with 50, so 25 and 25. Okay, let's just see what the purple one looks like. We are gonna zoom in on these because they deserve it, especially, you know, for what I paid. All right, so it looks like it has a little film on top. This is the, you know, the, the sample to show you what it looks like. Oh, okay. And then we're gonna open it up. And, oh, wow. Oh, okay. I can't wait to get into these. It's the details for me. Is this how South Korea is doing their nail products? I might have to catch a flight. <laughs> wow. I just want to see what the consistency is. Oh, y'all see that? It's like, it's very hard to explain. It's like very viscous, but it's not runny. It's like thick. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to get into this. So I need to put some nails on first. So let me go ahead and do that. And then we'll get into the swatches. Ooh, I don't even wanna open this up. It's so pretty. And these, these have some weight to it. Like this is heavy. All right, so I got my tips picked out and I'm gonna be using Patty Gel and Color Nude today. So while I put these nails on, this would be the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, Shopify. Shopify is a commerce platform that helps you start, grow, and manage your business. They power millions of businesses all over the world and I'm one of those businesses. I use it to manage my business, Patty Gel. And judging by the payment options on Zillaboo, I think they use Shopify as well. So I've been using Shopify for almost four years now and I am very happy with the service. With Shopify, I can manage my store's website, keep track of inventory, and collect payments all in one spot. To all my business owners out there, I'm sure y'all can relate to how easy that is. So if you've been thinking about starting a business but don't know where to start, Shopify has the tools to get you started and to help you along your journey. Start your free trial using my link below, shopify.com slash longcareprettynails. So we're just gonna go ahead and quickly pat this in place. Ooh, this nude color is so, 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 so pretty. But yeah, I'm keeping these kinda, kinda short, kinda basic, because obviously we're gonna be doing a lot of gel polish on top. So we just need a, a nice, you know, simple base. And I wanna keep this a little thin. I mean, you know, not crazy thin, but I think I'm gonna have to get some of this off. Just look at how easy this patty gel is to work with. 
If you're interested, head over to my Shopify store at Long Hair Pretty Nails, or you can shop the shelf down below. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna scrape this off. The more time you take with getting the shape and everything the way that you like, the less fouling you'll have to do. Gorgeous. All right, so I'm just gonna do that for the rest of the nails. All right, nails are on, filed, shaped, and buff. All right, so let's get to these swatches. So first I'm gonna start off with the, what's the name of that again? Okay, this is the Neon Struck Ice Cream Neon Tiny. <laughs> Family size. <laughs> But this box is so cute. I'm gonna have to like rearrange my background because I wanna display some of this stuff. Okay, so I wanna do some swatches of these. These soft touch bottles, man. Wow. I'm like, really? <laughs> I think this might be an issue, okay? Um, what y'all think is cheaper? Like flying to South Korea and going shopping or buying these? <laughs> These are so expensive, y'all. If y'all don't remember, this was $210. Ooh, I mean, I like to spend money, but, but this is like even a little too much for me. You know, this is just for science, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna test these. All right, so this color is TGG 120. I actually like the brush already. I like when they're kind of like, they're very dense and short, if that makes sense. I don't like super long brushes. So, let's go ahead and paint this. Hmm, okay. I like how creamy it is. Once you get, you know, enough Jeho polish on the brush. That is really pretty. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's like a very in your face pink. All right, so I'm just putting on the second coat and I do wanna make a comment about, about the smell. It's almost sweet, <laughs> that's crazy. It actually smells good. Most gel polishes don't smell good. And it also like self levels. If y'all saw me like putting the polish on and now you can't even see the brush strokes. Now that is some quality polish. So I'm gonna go ahead and care this. All right, so next we got 125. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm really loving the creaminess of these. Like these are very, very creamy. And they seem to be really pigmented. Like this is one coat. So next we got TTG 127. I guess what would make it even cuter is if they had like really cute names. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. We're here for the polish. This is gorgeous. I love this blue color because all the blues I have are either pastel, like super pastel, or they're very, very dark. And so this is something that I'm very excited to add to my collection. Next, we got this highlighter yellow, and this is color TGG 124. Ooh, y'all, this formula is really good. I've watched a few videos of people testing out Korean gels and they all agree that <laughs> even though they are really, really, really expensive, that they're worth it because the formula is just really, really nice. So, you know, if you can do it, you really like these. And this is TGG 118. Just look how this just glides, y'all. And this is a pretty color as well. Mm, mm, mm. I'm in love. So these are the swatches. And as you can see, these colors are gorgeous. I can definitely see myself using these. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the next one. These bottles might be a little too tall for my shelf. Let me see right quick. Hmm. 
yes unfortunately they are too tall for my shelf so i'm probably just gonna keep them in a box until i can figure everything out but they're so cute i want to display them and i also want to point out that these don't have a sticky layer to them i'm sold already <laughs> yeah there's no sticky layer that is awesome okay <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna do swatches of these. And I really appreciate like the attention to detail with the packaging. Like these were all spaced out so they won't, you know, get knocked in transit. Uh, it's just the care in the packaging. These came a long way though. Oh, I didn't even peep that there's a, there's a pamphlet inside the box as well. Oh, cool. It's not a pamphlet. This is actually a um, display of the, I guess the set and you can put your samples of the colors on there. I'm noticing that these Korean gel polishes, if they come in a set, they come with like a pretty display, you know, cool. So as I showed y'all before, these are my darker, sultry colors. And uh, you know, this is if you, you mean business. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these as well. This is the color that I was most excited about. It's pretty much why I bought this set. Um, this is color 97. I guess they're all labeled TGG. That must be the tiny, um, you know, prefix for their colors. Yeah, this was the color that I was really excited about. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's others like it, but I, when I saw this in the set, I was like, hmm, I like. All right, so. Ooh. And once again, formula is very creamy. The pigmentation is on point. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Another color I really liked was this chocolate brown color and this is 98. I am just like really taken aback though at the quality of these gel polishes. Like what are they doing in Korea? <laughs> I must know. Okay, this is actually a true chocolate brown. Oh, beautiful. Yes, it was, I think, brown and blue. Like, I am so tired of mixing gel polishes to get the perfect shade. This brown is just really nice. It's like super deep without being muddy, if that makes sense. So next, I wanna see about this mauve color, 104. Oh my God, I'm so happy that <laughs> I like these because this was a lot for me to spend on nail supplies. Beautiful. And I'm sure like I keep saying it, but I just love the formula. Like you see how creamy it is and how it settles. You don't see any of the brush strokes and that is one coat. And I was very interested in this grayish blue color. Hmm, it's almost like a periwinkle. Just gorgeous. All right, so these are all of the swatches of the sultry colors. And once again, the formulation is the same. There's not a tacky layer, which is a thumbs up in my book. And now for my personal favorite, the Myth Milo Cake Gel. Okay, <laughs> come on out. Oh. This is so pretty, y'all. This looks like like eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm not gonna swatch all of these because it's 50 of them, but I am gonna play a little bit with one. Try not to scratch it. Ooh. And eventually I have to go through all of these and take off the plastic. It's not working with me. Oh, there we go. This is just a sample. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a display. But once again, the quality on this case rivals makeup. That's how good it is. 
Okay, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be lifted up like that, but I'm just going to push that right back down. So we got the Myth Milo logo. And let's dig into this cake gel. It's just, this is like, like I know we got like solid gels and stuff here, but as you can see, when you scoop this up, I'm like scooping a lot. <laughs> uh, it's not stringy or anything like that, but it's not moving either. It's such a weird consistency. Oh, I do like how when you open it up from the side, it kind of sits up. So on the box, they do warn you from opening it up and keeping it open for a long time that it'll eventually dry out. So I'm going to keep that closed because this was a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about the cake gel um, from the videos that I saw is that you can do full coverage nails or you can pick out the glitters that you want. So you can put it, you know, it's buildable coverage. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's very easy to apply and exactly where you put it is where it's going to stay. And because it is like tacky you can kind of move the glitter where you want it to be it's not the same as like a glitter gel polish that's kind of loose and kind of does its own thing so that is that let me i'm gonna cure it and then we're gonna put a second layer on and it cleans out of the brush very easily with alcohol good <laughs> uh i want to see if i can kind of show y'all like how, okay, there it is. As you can see, they pack a good amount in here. It's like, it's a, it's a, it's a good ways down to the bottom. <laughs> so they're not skimpy on the product, which is good. Okay, so as you build it up, I'm trying not to use like too much. But this stuff is full of glitter. Like it's to the it's to the point where if they put any more, it probably wouldn't care. <laughs> and of course, if you want more coverage, you can just keep going. But this is just a swatch. I'm not trying to use all my product on a plastic stick. <laughs> all right, so these top colors here, as you can see, they're uh, all but the, these two, they're pretty much solid colors. And then uh, the bottom one here is the color mixes of glitter, which I am really excited about. I want to try oh, just so many choices. I'm going to go for this one. Let's see if I can get this out. without scratching the side like I just did. So these don't have that sweet smell that the tiny gel polishes have. It smells like a regular gel polish. All right, so let's see if I can get this one off. This, I feel like the sample doesn't even do the pan justice. Also, these are pretty like transparent, so they definitely will work, you know, to its highest. Oh my God, <laughs> that's so pretty. Um, but these will work, you know, I think best with a, a background. Well, I guess unless you're going for like that candy, candy clear look. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, this cake gel, it's not a bad formula. It's just, it's so weird and different from what I'm used to. All right, so because I bought the whole set, it did come with the shelves or the display for them. So, oh, and they're heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to figure this out because I wanna display these, definitely. Oh gosh, <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Each piece has a plastic film on it. 
Okay, luckily it came with this. All right, I got all the plastic off. Seemed like it took forever. Okay, so I have to insert these. Y'all really can't see the top down, but this is what it looks like so far. If I do something like this. Okay, gotta see what side we're doing. So this way. <laughs> I know y'all here for nails, but Evie is building today. <laughs> okay, it's coming together. This is some nice acrylic though. It doesn't feel flimsy. <laughs> okay, they're on wrong. I got this one on wrong. Okay, <laughs> we got it right. All right, and then this is the case. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, and then they go in here, I guess, like that. So I am just going to put all of these in here because I need to be able to see them. If I don't see them, then I'm gonna forget about them. <laughs> I feel like I have a nail salon. That's just for me. <laughs> I have the first stand complete and full. This was a lot of plastic to peel off, so I'm gonna do the other one later. But isn't it so cute? All right, so enough with playing with gel polish. I need to do something with these nails and I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I got a gift that will help me decide what I'm gonna do. So hopefully it helps. So Selena Ryden sent me some stuff from her shop called Moonflare and she sent me a cute little note. I love meeting all the people in the nail community. I feel like, you know, we all just need to network and you know, everybody's doing her thing. So she has a shop called Moonflare. This is so different from anything that I've ever tried. I'm beautifully wrapped. So these are nail cards. It kind of has like a tarot card feel to them, but they're supposed to help you decide what nail design you want to do. All right. Okay, so <laughs> I got to put my Clio on. This is packed really well. Oh, I don't want to bend it too much. Yeah, Um. This is this is a dope idea though. Like I haven't seen anybody do anything like this. So when I saw her use these on her page, um, I thought the cards were like bigger. I'm glad they are smaller because I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to fit them all. But let's look at the instructions. How to use. Do whatever you want. <laughs> all right, so it says sort the different sections of the card deck into separate piles and pull one card from each pile. So the card, the deck is divided into color, words, elements, shapes, and accents. So those seem to be the shapes. Okay, these are words. Those are accents. I won't be a good tarot card reader because I'm like, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody watch that documentary on Cleo on HBO when they were like uh, just talking about the whole, you know, psychic network and how everybody was mad at her, but it wasn't her company and you know, but <laughs> this is, this is what it's putting me in the mind of. Call me now. So yeah, these are the five piles. So yeah, I don't quite have room for... <laughs> for five but you know y'all get the picture all right so i'm just gonna like shuffle these up well it doesn't matter because the shape is the shape the shape right now is square <laughs> um so and then we're just gonna shuffle these around this is really fun because i cannot tell y'all how many times i don't know what i'm gonna do for a nail design it just it just happens. So at least this will give me a little bit of guidance. 
I've been doing this for so many years. So I feel like now I just, I don't feel as creative as I used to be. I don't know, but maybe this will help me. I don't want to bend them too much. So I'm not going to shuffle them like I'm at the casino. <laughs> Ooh, what's your fortune? I don't know. <laughs> don't pay me because I don't know. So if you don't know what you're going to do or you ladies out for your client and be like, okay, what you want? So first card. Get up. Okay, it says stiletto almond, but you know, we already got a shape. <laughs> All right, so this card. Okay, abstract shapes, foil, layering, and lines. Okay, that can get the creative juices flowing. All right, so next card. Oh, okay. They want me to go with blues and turquoise. Right, and then, oh wow. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe a little inspiration. This looks like a dream catcher or something. And the accent. Ooh, rose gold. I'm always down for rose gold. All right, so this is my idea palette. This is just to get the ideas going. You don't have to do everything that the cards say, but it kind of gives you an idea of, you know, something to start with. And that is what I need. So, ooh, so this is kind of like this. Maybe some blue, <laughs> a little bit of rose gold. Okay, so I'm gonna put the nail cards back. This is a really cute idea. At first when she asked me, I was like, mm, I don't know if this is for me, but you know, if you don't have an idea, this gives you ideas. Like, this is genius. <laughs> I have appreciated the benefits of a base coat. It makes the polish go on smoother. So we're just gonna put some of this on. Ooh, y'all cannot tell me that this nude ain't cute. So I'm gonna go in with this color. I'm excited to try these colors. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm just gonna carefully apply this and I'm gonna do two coats of this. So I thought I was filming and I wasn't, but what I did was just um, take this smaller brush and I went really close around my cuticle area. I want this application to be flawless. So that's what I did. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cure this first layer. We're gonna do it again on this nail. This is so pretty. And like I did on my pinky nail, just gonna take this brush and get really close. like so all right and just going back in with the bigger brush and just blending all of that together and we cure and on my index finger i'm gonna go in with a darker blue i guess it's not dark blue but you know what i'm saying i'm going in with this this color These polishes are definitely full coverage. I'm gonna do the same with this one. And get really close. All right, so now I wanna do a little bit of ombre. So I'm gonna put this blue, I'm gonna put a little more of that on. And then I'm gonna go in with the, uh, what you call these? The milk punch. And uh, if y'all don't remember, these are little sponges to do, to do ombre with. And then I have this tool that you can pick it up with. Oh, let me, let me do it so y'all can see. So yeah, you push, you push this down and then the little, the little catcher comes on. And then you just, <laughs> it just holds on to it. That is, that is genius. So I'm just gonna dab this in, load the sponge up pretty good. And we're gonna do it on this one. 
Ooh. It does give it an airbrush effect. Okay. <laughs> I'm not just saying this because I spent a lot of money on this, but these sponges are the truth. The reason why I don't like doing ombre with a sponge with gel polish is because it never came out right. But this right here, I can see it. All right, so I'm gonna go up a little more. Just a little bit. Oh, that looks so good. But yeah, it's like if you use those makeup sponges from the from the drugstore. Okay, you can kind of see it better from this angle. If you use those, it seems like it just picks up the gel polish. It doesn't blend it. It kind of just soaks it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and then we're gonna do it one more time just to increase the intensity of the ombre. Okay, and then this time I'm just gonna focus it on the tip. So my goal is for this to look very kind of just very subtle, almost like airbrush where it's just like a mist. Hoo -hoo. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I'm gonna do the same thing for the middle finger. So yeah, I like these sponges. When I was on a website, it was saying how, you know, these are so much better and yada yada. And I'm like, sure, y'all just saying that because you want me to buy it. <laughs> but these are actually good. And then I use the clean side of the brush to kind of dab and get almost that airbrush look. Ooh, I am so sold on these sponges. And you get a lot. I don't know how many come in here. Ooh, I just spilled them. <laughs> okay, let me cure this. And I gotta pick up all these sponges because I actually like them. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> Okay, so y'all must know that I like these sponges because I just sat here for five minutes finding all of the sponges that I dropped. Okay, we're gonna make sure the cap is on this. <laughs> and to see if I can actually use the other side, we're gonna do it like this. Yay, we you know, we try to stretch our products over here. And then obviously for the blue one, we're gonna do the teal ombre. Okay, I was hoping it showed up. I might have to go in with a couple layers of this. Ooh I think it also helps too when the colors are pretty close. They blend really good. All right. So for my accent, I wanna do kind of like some abstract. So we're gonna put a little bit more gel polish down. So I'm gonna do like a square. And we're gonna put this like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna do like a, a half circle. Oh, I like it. I don't even know which side I'm using, but this short brush is helping me out. It could be the gel polish too. It's it's really it's pleasant to work with. I'm not I'm not exaggerating at all. Okay, I'm still gonna play around just to make sure everything is evenly covered. That is beautiful. Has this been my problem the whole time with hand-drawn art is I've been using the wrong gels? <laughs> Cause that was easy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that before I mess it up. All right, so my abstract and lines are done. So I'm gonna go in with, I think this glitter. I was gonna use both of them, these two. I don't know, probably just for variety, I may use this one as well. 
Uh, but this is just gonna be very, like, very subtle. I kinda almost wanna it to be just like a, just like a line. Like very minimal. The same thing over here. Like almost just kinda letting, letting the pieces kinda go where they go. Or I may place them a little bit. Like that. Just an accent. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and, oop, wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure I close these. <laughs> For the accent nails, I am going to do a glossy top coat. So I was thinking I was going to end up using some of the deeper colors because that's kind of what I wanted. But the nail cards had other plans. I'm going to go in with the matte top coat for the other nails. I'm beginning to love how the ombres look on matte nails. I've been seeing a lot of that on Instagram, so hopefully mine will look good too. Wanted to see how the blend looks glossy. You know, you can see that right before you cure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Matte looks good. So lastly, I'm just gonna take the 180 side of my nail file and we're just gonna, you know, make sure our shape is still there. We used a lot of gel polish. All right, so here is the finished look. I think these turned out really cute. It's been a while since I liked a nail design that I did. <laughs> but yeah, these turned out cute. I am so loving this tiny gel polish. And shout out to Selena for sending me these nail cards. I'm gonna be using these because I would have never came up with a design like this unless, you know, I had a little bit of inspiration. <laughs> So will you guys order any of the Korean gel polishes? I'm just curious. <laughs> they're really good, but they're really expensive. But if there's any other products that you guys want me to try from all over the world, just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. But if you enjoy watching me try new products, check out these videos right here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.